Richard Southern is with us once again. And Richard, I'm sure this is a question we've all asked at one point or the other. Are we alone in this universe? Looks like we could soon find out. This is really something, and I'm surprised this is not bigger news, but I want to tell you about it, Melissa. The New York Times this morning ran a bombshell article on the UFO phenomenon. This is the, 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 the article. The, the New York Times reported that the U.S. government still has a very active investigation into this aerial phenomenon and that it will make some of its findings public. What we're going to look at here is video. This was released by the Pentagon a couple of months ago. It was shot many years ago by U.S. fighter jets off the U.S. coast. And it shows unidentified objects that defy the laws of physics. So this was released by the Pentagon a while ago. The New York Times article this morning, Melissa, says the main goal of the government investigation is to actually find out whether another nation may be behind this, because they're, they're, they know they're looking at technology the U.S. doesn't have here. Now, the article contains some jaw-dropping quotes. I want to show you one of them. It's from astrophysicist Eric Davis, who works for Aerospace Corporation. This is a, de a defense contractor. The Times says, quote, he gave a classified briefing to a Defense Department agency as recently as March about retrievals of off-world vehicles not made on this earth. Melissa, the paper also quotes current sitting U.S. Senator Marco Rubio, who said unidentified aerial vehicles over U.S. bases have exhibited technologies not in the American arsenal and that it's the U.S.'s duty to find out what's going on. Aren't you surprised this is not bigger news, Melissa? This it's is huge. fascinating stuff. I remember seeing that one video before thinking, my goodness, what is that? And, you know, so many questions coming from this as well. It's in the New York Times. It's all the news that's fit to print. It's not the conspiracy theorists anymore. It's the Times, and we're going to see what the uh, the investigation has to report to the public at some point. It'll be interesting stuff for sure. And